Welcome back. Another era of arena football is over in Rapid City. Yesterday afternoon, the Rapid City Marshals announced they would be ceasing operations effective immediately. Coners Wes Johnson and his sister Rebecca Chapman cited the failed promises of the AFL front office and the Marshals forfeiting that game back on May 11th against the Billings Outlaws as major factors in their decisions. I had the chance to speak with AFL Chairman Chris Chetty on Thursday and we discussed how the league ended up here. What were your first impressions of former league commissioner Lee Hutton when you first met him in Las Vegas to kick off AFL 3.0? The way it was framed to me was, you know, Lee Hutton coming in as commissioner and, um, you know, him partnered with Tra Travel Gaines, they were going to take the whole thing and just build this whole thing out. You know, everything from media to sponsorships to team owners, everything down the line, turnkey. You know, as an investor, <laughs> This sounds good to me, right? Hey, I, this doesn't sound like I have to operate. So, you know, we worked through that for, you know, very, very, very closely for, you know, five, six months. Why did you take a backseat after buying the AFL trademarks? The guys in the US side are gonna take it from here. We have a change in direction, change in vision, and, and I didn't have any plans to move to the States. I, uh, you know, I, I accepted an early buyout, right? Like I said, if I, if I, if my group is not wanted or not needed here, then if they don't see the value, then we're not here to try to convince anybody of our value. I took a back seat, and you know, I let them go with it. We've, we've, we've sent seasoned assists. We've sent all kinds of legal communications. We've brought several firms on board to put a stop to this. And then, when the writing was on the wall, and and the existing team owners and, and leadership all collectively decided that, that you know we needed a change, that's when I got in touch, or that's when Jeff Fisher got in touch with me, and then we were able to start connecting the dots. What were the logistics of Jeff Fisher taking over as commissioner, despite the AFL bylaws saying owners couldn't vote commissioners out of office? Since you you, you screwed up the second contract back in January 20th when we signed it. And they said that we're, they were going to pay us in 48 hours and didn't because they did that to us in July of last year. They've already breached the contract. So they've already like we've revoked the right to use the license immediately. So they so all these contracts and all these agreements that they've been putting in place have all been illegal. They're, they're not they're not on any sort of valid grounds. And he's lost his role as a commissioner a lot longer before that, because when he took over as an owner operator on another shell to take the transferring of ownership of the marks, he's now stepped out of our purview as a commissioner in contractual agreement with G6 Sports because he's breached his contract. On the local level here in Rapid City, team ownership announced that season ticket holders and individuals who have purchased tickets for the rest of the season will be reimbursed. To see the full team statement or to learn more about what has happened in recent days, visit CodaTV.com and click on Sports.